In today's video, we'll discuss about file storage. So Laravel offers us uh, different options to store files like public disks, local disks. So uh, you can store your files on your local uh, locally uh, in your file system like inside your storage folder here. Or you can also store your files on cloud uh, like using service like Dropbox. So first we'll see how we can store on uh, store files locally and then we'll move on to cloud storage. So if we see the configuration option for uh, file storage file system you need to go to config file system. Let me make it a bit bigger. Okay so here uh, the default is local. So default file system disk and default cloud file system disk so here you can specify any of op options from this array so currently it is local you can also specify that as a public as a default or s3 so what local disk means is it will store uh, all the file that you uh, use inside your inside storage folder like inside storage app folder in this folder and what public will do is it will store inside app public so all the files which is inside this public will be accessible uh, by any other user or any other uh, customer in our website so let's see this in action by example so we'll take example of our web forum so I'm logged in and if I want to create a thread so I've added this option to add a file. I've added this one field like if you go to thread create dot blade. So this was uh, the form and I added this input with type file. Also if you add input with type file, you know, don't forget to put this ink type to multi-part form data otherwise it won't work. So I've added this and one more field. This. Okay, after that, uh, let's type in thread and let's choose a random file. Let's, let's choose this file pick1.jpg. And if we hit submit, it will hit the raw, uh, hit this controller, thread controller. So here we are just validating requests uh, if the field are required or not, and then here we are saving all other data and this is the saving tags because it is a different relation uh, storing in different table that's why and here comes, comes the image upload part so we are checking if uh, request has image so by the way I've given name uh, image to that field so the name of this field is image IMG and uh, then we are updating the uh, just created thread and setting the image image field to the name of file that we just got by the way let me show you the schema for thread so this is the thread table we got field like img so here we'll store the name of thread so here we'll store just name and we need to put that file that we just uploaded to our disk so there will be two part one will be saving the name of the image to database so that we can refer it later and another is saving the file itself the whole file to some location so that when we want to access that file using the link uh, that will point to correct file so those are two steps so we are doing uh, those two steps in one just one line of code so here we uh, this method just returns the name of the image that it will store also it will store that so if you go to documents and you'll find that find about that so if you go to file uploads section so the way you can store file is like you can uh, you can call store method on the file that user uploaded all right so there is other method as well just doing storage facade put file and then name of folder where you want to put and then supply the file that user upload 
upload it okay so here is one thing uh, this name you can give anything uh, this will just create a new folder like uh, let me create thread thread peaks so it will create a folder called thread peaks inside app stories so we'll see that in a moment sorry just stories inside stories so as you can see currently there is nothing inside public so uh, if we execute so now the first option is name of uh, the folder and second option is uh, default uh, the disk that you want to use so if we want uh, that image to accessible by public which we want in this case we need to supply public otherwise just leave blank or if you don't want to supply this uh, disk option you need to make uh, that default config file system here since local is default we don't need to supply local but if you make it here public it will be just default to public so there are a lot of configuration options so actually i use this public quite often so i will make it public so default will be public now i don't need to supply this public option here so cleaner uh, we are saying just store this file to this folder so the file name it will generate automatically all right so if you want a custom file name you have to supply store as method all right so if you want a custom file name just supply store as so first option will be the folder name and second option will be uh, any file name that we want to give to that file okay so currently we don't need uh, that custom uh, something like that so we are just storing it inside thread picks folder so let's save this download.jpg saved go to here now we can see image mm, and if we go to the file we need to refresh it and if we go to storage app thread picks yeah now you can see any random file so if you go to database uh, let's refresh database as well threads okay so it will save like this thread picks and then slash and then name of file so how we uh, show that file on our page uh, let's go I uh, go to thread single so which will show this single thread i mean this uh, i mean this page this page is single dot plate and here i am accessing that like this so we uh, we can use asset helper and then put stories and then thread img so that will reference to that file name in our database field so that will show the image in browser okay one more thing after doing all this if you don't see uh, the image here or if link is broken what you need to do is you need to run this command so PSP artisan stories link so just run that command what that will do is it will create the same link so everything will be storing inside the storage but uh, we want the these files to be publicly accessible so uh, currently the public cannot access this folder because it is outside yeah it is on root okay so only the public uh, or visitor of site those can access the everything that is inside public folder right so that asset helper will just uh, get the file from public folder so in order to make that work we need to create the same link like this php artisan storage link that will create that so now you can see this storage folder inside public so it, it is just a copy of that it is linking to that yeah you can find that info on documentation page as well yeah local driver store inside and create a symbolic link like so so this is about storing file in public disk so if you want 
if you don't want any file to if you wa don't want any file to be accessible by public or that is the top secret or any uh, sensitive information that you want to save on your server you can do that so for that you don't uh, you, what you need to do is if you want uh, this file that user upload upload it to be uh, not publicly accessible and store somewhere else what you can do is you supply local so this is the local driver uh, there is public and there is local so lo what local will do is that will store inside stories app not inside public so if something is inside public it will be accessible if something is inside app so it will store here in this level so that won't be accessible so this is about some security concepts and storing file on your Laravel application.